just have a, a box, time. please. I'm going to go and grab that and stand that. <coughs> no, it's not going to stand up. Cramp up it. Cheers, mate. You. Stitched me up here, haven't you? I haven't stitched you at all. We Look. Haven't... Can you just, like, under can you just have him? We haven't done an interview yet this series, have we? Face. It's like when, we have, the, it's like when we have to do the shoulder warm-up like this, and we have to do the grappling. But you know it, like the... Is he filming? Of course he's filming. He's always filming. He's always filming. He's got one job. Tom and Tom, thanks for joining us on the Player Diet at the Viva Stadium. Tom, your impressions, first of all? It's, uh, it's nice, good surface, uh, nice and hard. Should uh, bode well for a, a quick game tomorrow. And uh, But yeah, good team run, short team run, and uh, boys get back to the hotel now and rest up. You've been here once before for the Six Nations, haven't you, in 2011? You've been here once before in 2013. Differing experiences. What was, first of all, 2011, what was, what was that like? What did you find yourself in when you came here? Well, we lost, so uh, it was a bit disappointing. It's an uh, it's, it's, uh, intimidating atmosphere. Um, the Irish started very quickly, and that's a, be one area we've got to watch out for tomorrow. 2013 was a bit different, though. Um, you were in the number two shirt playing here. What was that like? That was great. It was a great experience. First time I played here as well. It was a great experience. It was a real wet all day, and uh, we managed to just scrape the wind, to be fair, and it was a real good contest. And, uh, and it'll be a great day tomorrow, and you know, the, the Dublin will be buzzing tonight and in tomorrow. It'll be fantastic, and it's the... The games you want to play in and there's games you look forward to, so um, yeah, look, looking forward to a cracking day tomorrow. You both had spells out away from England, when you come to a place like this and away with the lads, does, it, does that emphasise how much you've missed it? Yeah, it's just great to be back, it's great to be back involved in, in the English shirt in the first place. Uh, you know, the last couple of games have been a positive start for England. So mentality coming off the bench, what do you need to get and get right, how do you want to impact the game? Um, it probably something like that, impact the game, you know, and your job will come off the bench, you've got 20 minutes, 30 minutes to just run round and, and make sure you bring some energy. The guys who are playing 80 minutes out there, you, you need to be their voice for them, keep them going and stuff like that, so you, you play a fairly big role in it and uh, yeah, so... As I say, you go on for 30 minutes, you run around like a lunatic and try and stop whatever you need to stop and carry whatever you need to do and, and, and shout and talk to other boys as well. Like Youngsy you said, just get round and try and melt as many people as possible and just get your hands on the ball and carry. You've known each other for a long time, of course, from Leicester. Tell me a bit about Tom Youngs here next to you. Uh, he's slightly turned on by farming <laughs> videos. Is that a lie? No, slightly, it's not, immensely. It's not a lie. It's not. Um, no, he, on the field, he's, he's sort of the ideal person you want to have around. Uh, he'll carry the ball, he'll do the hard graft whilst uh, you know, players like myself just stand on the wing and have a break. Uh, off the field, like I said, he's uh, a little bit strange when it comes to watching tractor videos. Tom, anything to add on, on Tom Crofty? Uh, to be fair to you, Crofty used to be my landlord, good bloke, <laughs> mate's rates it was as well, so well, that's what he told me anyway. No, he's a good bloke, it's great to see him back in the Engl England fold, you know, he's had some uh, tough times over the last, well, well, you had some good times and tough times in the last two years or so, so you know it's great to have him back in and he's a good mate and uh, you know he's a great line out forward and he's a great asset to have on the pitch. Um, you know, real lot joy thrown to him because you can throw it anywhere and he'll still catch it, but he still moans though at something that's not high enough or something like that. But no, it's, it's great to have him back in. I think you know when you have two serious injuries, it's, it just shows your commitment to, to it all and to get back again, it, it shows what sort of class he is, you know, and he's um, worked extremely hard to get back into the fold and it hasn't been easy for him. Fair play to him for uh, sticking at it. What do you do between now and the game to make sure you're ready? He will sleep. Um, I'll probably sleep write myself a little list of all things I need to do. Uh, he writes himself a list so he doesn't Youngs forget when and, to uh, sleep. Youngs and Cole will probably come in and uh, abuse me and uh, try and you know, be very unprofessional really and sort of disrupt my sleep patterns and yeah. eating patterns and uh, yeah, yeah that would be me. Are they a little double act those two going around together? Oh, I just like two stooges really just going around <laughs> trying to pick arguments with people and just trying to put the world to right. No, Coley puts the world to right. Yeah. Because I don't know anything about the world. <laughs> Finally, give us an insight into those last few minutes before the game. When you get here an hour and a half before, what goes on in the dressing room? What sort of things are happening it's between the much, players? It's very much your own prep. It's your little time to, to, to sort of get strapped up or any like read the programme, relax, listen to your own music, uh, whatever you want to do. I always like the bit just before the, you know, you're standing just before the kickoff. And uh, you sort of, it's just sort of quite peaceful, like the crowd's on, but at the precise moment you're looking around, nothing's happening, and it's just waiting for the calm before the storm sort of thing. So it's, just, it's a great occasion, it's a great thing to be part of.